Good morning, lovely empaths. So for this week's DBT skill, we're going to be talking about wise mind. So there are three different minds we can be in at any given time. We have our rational mind and our rational mind, we approach things intellectually. We're thinking logically and using past experience. We're also using facts and research as well as planning and we're very focused. In emotional mind, reason and logical thinking is very difficult. We're using only our emotions to make decisions. We're also very reactive. When we're in wise mind, we're using a combination of both rational and emotional mind. So we're bringing together the intellect and the feeling. So we can be more intuitive thinking in wise mind. And we have this nice balance between rational and emotional mind. This is when we're living mindfully. So this is the goal to be in wise mind. So wise mind practice. What I would recommend doing this week is doing check-ins with yourself. Am I feeling emotional, analytical, or wise mind? Wise mind is that sweet spot. Drop into the pause between inhaling and exhaling if you're feeling like you're in an emotion mind. And that'll help you get recentered and regrounded and get back into wise mind. We can also practice wise mind by almost like a meditative practice to expand our awareness. So we'd be breathing in, focusing on your center, breathing out, staying focused on your center still, but trying to expand your awareness to fill the space you are in as well. So as you're breathing in, focusing on your center, breathing out, focusing on your center. And at this point, you're aware of your body only. You're aware of what's going on in your body. When you start to expand your awareness, maybe now you start to become aware of things that are happening in the room that you're in. What's going on with your pet? What's going on with your friend? What's going on with your partner? So it's finding the balance of honoring your own feelings, but also being aware of the people or things that are around you. Another thing to bring us back into wise mind could be focusing on your breath and noticing the feeling of how the air feels when it enters your nose. How does it feel when you breathe out? What's the temperature? Feel your lungs expand. And if you're in an emotion mind, something you can do to try to recenter yourself would be just by asking yourself, wait, stop, don't react. Am I in wise mind? and then breathing out and listening for that answer. Everybody will kind of get this differently. Sometimes you'll feel it like a sensation in your body. Sometimes you'll just hear something in your own head kind of say yes or no. Everybody um, will get the information differently and it's completely perfect however you get your information. reason, analytical, emotion, or wise mind. So I just want you to just stop and kind of do this exercise with me while we're doing this today. So I want you to try to come up with an example of something that happened this past week where you were in analytical mind. If you have a journal, now would be a great time to get that out because you can start to journal about your experiences and really get to know yourself on a much deeper level. So just take a minute to write about that example that you were in analytical mind. Okay, good. And if you need more time, feel free to pause this video now so you can finish the first question. Moving on, can you also give another example or think about another time this past week where you were in emotion mind and just take a minute to write that down.
Okay, good. If you need more time, feel free to pause here. Moving on. Now, how do you think the interaction would have gone differently? If you were in wise mind for both of these scenarios, what would have happened differently? What would have changed? How do you think being in wise mind could have benefited any of these examples? And feel free to just pause there so you can finish writing this out. <clears throat> now I want you to give me an example of a time you used wise mind this week. And be proud of yourself for being in wise mind. It's not always easy to do. And the goal for this week is to try to stay in wise mind as much as possible. Something that I like to do is put little reminders on post-its kind of around the house. So like on my bathroom mirror, I have a little post-it that says check in. And I'll stop and I'll remember to like recenter, to check in with myself. What, um, what mind am I in? Am I in analytic, emotion, or wise mind? Um, and then I can... From that point, if like, let's say I'm in analytical mind, then I'll stop, get back to my wise mind and continue my day. You can put these little notes on your coffee pot, on your, um, maybe on your dashboard in your car, you know, wherever you think it would be most beneficial for you. Okay, so now we're going to do a little exercise together. So this is called the stone flake on a lake. So I want you to just take a minute to get yourself comfortable. I'm gonna sit upright in your chair, both feet on the ground. And you're just gonna start by taking in a deep breath, nice and slow in through your mouth. I'm sorry, in through your nose. Hold for a couple seconds and then out as slow as you possibly can. Good. And now do that again in through your nose, nice and deep. Hold and out. Great job. One more time in nice and deep. Hold and out. Nice and slow. Good. Now at this point, if you're comfortable, close your eyes. If you're not comfortable doing that, that's completely fine. Just try to relax your focus. Just let your breathing return to its normal rhythm. And I want you to just imagine that you are by a clear blue lake on a beautiful sunny day. Then imagine that you are a small flake of stone, flat and light. Imagine that you have been tossed out onto the lake and are now gently, slowly floating through the calm, clear blue water to the lake's smooth, sandy bottom. I want you to notice what you see here, what you feel as you float all the way down, perhaps in slow circles floating towards the bottom. And as you reach the bottom of the lake, settle your attention there within yourself. Notice the serenity of the lake. Become aware of the calmness, 
and the quiet deep within. As you reach the center of yourself, settle your attention here. Wonderful job. And just be with this energy for a minute. Just feel how it feels to be calm and centered in yourself. You should be feeling much more calm, much less anxiety. You should definitely be in wise mind at this point. And you can do this exercise any time of the day, as many times as you need. When you're ready to come out of it, just wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes. Open your eyes if you close to them. I really, really hope this was helpful for you guys. I would love to hear in the comments how this went for you. And I look forward to seeing you guys next week.